This is Spanish artist Pablo Picasso, one of the most famous artists in the world. Picasso was known for a style called Cubism. Cubism is the idea of breaking up a realistic subject matter into basic shapes and colors. One of his most famous Cubist paintings is this painting here called The Three Musicians. Notice that there are three figures and they are broken down into basic geometric shapes. Can you see that each musician is playing a different instrument? Each musician has a costume on. Notice how in cubism, the same colors are repeated over and over to create what's called unity. So you're probably wondering, that's great, Miss Mullins Means, but what does this have to do with our theme of medieval times? Well, back in the medieval days, there weren't video games and technology. The most entertaining thing, especially for royalty, was music and being entertained by what's called a fool or a jester. The jester would juggle, perform acrobatics, and tell jokes to entertain the royal family. So for our next project, we're going to take inspiration from Pablo Picasso's three musicians to create our own version of cubism by creating three medieval entertainers. For this project, you'll need a neutral piece of construction paper, pencil, glue, scissors, and a Sharpie marker. If you don't have a glue sponge, you can use a glue stick. You'll need a variety of construction paper scraps, plus black and white. Your first step will to be to choose your color scheme. Now, I think that I'm gonna go with a primary color scheme, so I'm choosing red, yellow, and blue. And remember, black and white will also be used in this color scheme. Now remember, just because I'm using primary colors does not mean that you have to select primary colors. I want you to choose three colors that you repeat all throughout your cubist work. Next, you're going to cut out three geometric shapes for your three medieval entertainers that you're creating on your artwork. So I'm creating a rectangle body for one of my entertainers. I will create a triangle body for my second entertainer. And maybe I will draw out an oval body for my third entertainer. The types of geometric shapes that you choose are completely up to you. Next, we'll create a geometric shape for the head of each entertainer. The only requirement is that you use a different color than the color you used for the entertainer's body. So for example, my yellow rectangle, I could not use yellow again for the head. And you see, I also changed the geometric shape. So I'm giving that entertainer a circle head. Next, I'm going to create some long rectangle legs for each entertainer. I'm going to start to incorporate some of the black and white that's in our color scheme, because remember that black and white are not colors. They're considered to be values. So um, they're just going to unify and balance everything together. 
Notice that I have not glued any of my entertainer's bodies down to the paper. Uh, this kind of art that we're doing is called a collage. And in a collage, you usually wait till the last minute to glue items down. That way we can arrange things and make it look the way we feel is best. Now that we have legs for all of our entertainers, we're going to start to make our entertainers look like they're in costume. Let's refer back to Pablo Picasso's Three Musicians. So taking inspiration from Pablo Picasso's work, I'm going to create some smaller triangles so that I can decorate the pant leg of one of my musicians. Notice that I just cut a long rectangle and then I cut on a diagonal, which gives me a big pile of triangles to work with. Since these shapes are on the smaller side, I'm going to go ahead and glue them directly to the pant leg of my first musician. Remember, if you don't have a glue sponge, you can use a glue stick. Now that we have all of the pieces and parts for our three entertainers' bodies, we can start gluing them in place. I want you to notice the order that I'm gluing each item. First, I glue down the legs, then the torso, which is the chest area, is glued down on top of the legs, and last, the head is glued on top of the torso. Now it's time to give each one of our entertainers some feet. We will use a triangle to show the feet on each musician or entertainer. Now notice I have only used the colors in my color scheme. I haven't reintroduced a new color and I'm also able to use black and white. So you are also able to use black and white in whatever your color scheme is. So you don't want to put the same color next to each other or you won't be able to see certain shapes. So I'm using black for my musician in the middle and their feet, but I might change up the color for another musician. I want to keep repeating those same colors so that my artwork all goes together. Now that each one of my musicians or entertainers has feet, I'm going to add more detail with my black Sharpie marker. A reminder that entertainers back then wore costumes. So I'm going to incorporate a pattern on my next musician's legs. I'll probably do a diagonal.
Next, we'll work on each entertainer's face. Notice that I have a hole punch to create small circles for little eyes on my entertainers. Now, if you don't have a hole punch at home, then you can just cut small circles. And I'm not going to cut circles for every single entertainer. I'm just gonna use my artistic eye and decide which circles that I do want to use. So now that I have eyes on my first two entertainers, I've decided that my last one will be my jester. Or remember in medieval times, they were often called a fool. So I'm going to get inspiration from Pablo Picasso's Three Musicians, and I'm going to create a mask for him. So I use a rectangle and I cut out a small triangle and I'll glue this mask shape to his face. Next, we're going to create a jester hat for one of our entertainers. You decide which entertainer you want to wear the jester hat. You're going to need to cut three large triangles and you'll need one small rectangle to ac go across the forehead. To create the jester hat, glue three of the triangles to the top of whichever musician's head you want to wear. Next, after you glue the three triangles, you'll glue the skinny rectangle across the forehead. To finish off your jester's headpiece, you're going to create three circles to glue to the tip of each triangle. So you can draw a small circle first, or like you see me doing here, I folded the paper so I'll end up with more than one circle, cut, and then glue each small circle to the tip of each triangle. Now let's give each of our entertainers either an instrument or some juggling balls so that they can entertain the royalty. So I folded this white piece of paper three times, drew a small circle, and now I'm cutting it out so that I have three circles that are about the same size. I'll glue the juggling balls above this entertainer's head so it looks as if he's in the middle of an entertaining act. Your next decision will be what instrument to give to the remaining two entertainers. You could do a lute, this is a medieval flute, or a harp. So I've decided that my first entertainer will be playing the lute. To create this instrument, I will cut a skinny rectangle, and I'm also going to draw and cut out an oval, more along the lines of a teardrop shape. Once I have these shapes cut out, I'll glue down my oval first, and then glue the long, thin rectangle right on top. I've decided that my last entertainer, the one in the middle, will be playing the flute. So when you're creating a flute, I've decided to create a long triangle. You could also use a thin rectangle. The player can be holding the flute vertical or they can be holding their flute horizontally. This is totally up to you as the artist. I'm going to add a few more details to this flute by using some leftover circles that I had from my hole punch. Now you can create your own circles 
or you can even use your black Sharpie marker to add these details to your flute. Take a moment to notice how I've repeated my same color schemes of the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, plus black and white. And I'm always using a contrasting color on top of each paper. So I wouldn't want to create an instrument that would just blend into my entertainer or musician's body. I'm always trying to pick a different color yet stay within my color scheme. Now it's time to create our musician's hands. We are gonna use small rectangles for each musician's hand. My first entertainer's rectangle hands will be on either side of his lute. Next, my flute player's hands, still using rectangles, will be on either side of the flute. And lastly, my fool or jester will have hands on either side of his body so that he is juggling the balls. Our last step is to add a few details with our black Sharpie marker. I'm starting by adding eye holes and eyeballs inside of the mask of my juggler. Next, I'll add a few details to the face of my flute player. If you remember the three musicians, some of them have mustaches, so I'm gonna give him a curly Q mustache that's super fun to draw. I've decided that my lute player will also be singing. So not only am I gonna put dots in his eyes, but I'm gonna give him a big circle mouth and color it in with my Sharpie marker so it looks like he is singing. Feel free to add mouths to any of your other entertainers. Some with open mouths, some with this teeth showing like this last guy. He looks like he's really concentrating on juggling those balls. I'll also add some pattern to add to the costuming of each entertainer. I'll also be adding the knobs, strings, and details to my lute. Each one of my musician's rectangle hands should have three to four straight lines to indicate where the fingers for each hand are. And there you have it, three medieval entertainers inspired by Pablo Picasso's three musicians. I can't wait to see your artwork.